Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the basement. Today we're going to be checking out this, a giant articulated Pensy locomotive here on Chris's Trains and Things. Let's go. Now this is a USRA 2882. Most, 882. Most of us know what that means by now, but let's go over it. 2882. We have two wheels up front. We have a set of eight drivers, another set of eight drivers, and then two more wheels on the trailing truck. Now, this locomotive was built by the USRA during World War I, very much modeled off of the Y3 that you would have seen from the Norfolk and Western. So, uh, a common locomotive that you would see there, but not so much on the Pensy, but this was a prototypical engine that the Pensy did have. Now, this USRA specific model from Lionel is actually from Trains.com. That's Trains with a Z. So, this model could be yours if you go to their website and it hasn't been picked up yet. This is a great model, it's recent, it features all those awesome legacy features, including legacy, TMCC, Bluetooth, it has whistle steam that you're gonna see, and this thing smokes like an absolute monster. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's get a little bit closer to this model so you can see it for what it's worth. And we'll talk a little bit about the history, a little bit about this model, and then we're gonna send it all the way around this layout. I'm talking inner loop, outer loop, upper reversing loop as well. We're gonna get some great shots of this thing running on the layout because it is absolutely beautiful. And again, this could be yours. Trains with a Z, use code CTAT at checkout and save yourself some money on this or go to trains.com slash CTAT and that helps support this channel, which I greatly appreciate. Let's check this out. Hey, before we keep going, hit that subscribe button. Bing! For me right there. That is a huge help for us here at the channel just to know that we're producing the content that you want to see. Leave me a comment. What are your thoughts about this awesome locomotive? I've never seen the Pensy one in person before until this arrived at my layout, and it is really sharp. So let's, let's go. All right, so Alco and Baldwin produced 106 original Y3s, or 2882s, and they were eventually sold off to more than the original four railroads. The original four railroads were the B&O, the Norfolk and Western, Clinchfield, and Virginian. Eventually, they, they were sold off to some more railroads, including the Pennsylvania, the Union Pacific, and Santa Fe. The eight drive wheels of this engine produced over 100,000 pounds of tractive effort, which allowed them to haul, haul coal through the mountains, which is exactly what you're going to see this thing doing today. This model is the, obviously the PRR version with a green boiler and some road-specific detailing. This model was released in 2020, so it's not old at all. Uh, you know, only two years old, almost three years old. It was from the Volume 2 catalog with an MSRP price of $1899.99. Now, the list price for this engine on trains is right around $1550 or so. So, you can save some money off MSRP, and this thing is absolutely phenomenal, as you'll see as it runs around the layout today. I mentioned all the ways that you can control this thing, including Bluetooth. It does also have the simpling chuffing to better replicate the prototype. And what that means is it starts off with eight chuffs per revolution and then switches to four. Like most of the latest steam releases from Lionel, this does have whistle steam and obviously stack steam. It comes in at 28 inches in length and as expected with an engine at 28 inches that's articulated, you're going to need those 72 curves to safely navigate your layout. I have been very impressed with this model, and I'm so glad that I have the chance to run another layout. I honestly, at this point, don't know if I'm gonna send it back to trains. I might just have to buy it myself. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. So again, make sure that you use that code CTAT the next time you're at trains, save yourself some cash. Thanks so much for watching this. This thing, we're gonna, we have a lot of run footage on this today, so sit back and enjoy. Let us know what your thoughts are, and let me know what your favorite shot is of the layout during our run session today. I got some some video footage from different angles that I typically don't get. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Chris from Chris's Trains and Things. Enjoy.